Hi guys, how is it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the next package manager on your phone. Yes, just like you heard now. And I believe it's something really awesome. You should try it yourself. First of all, you need to have F-Droid installed on your phone. Install it on your phone. If you want to do that, or if you want to follow with installing F-Droid, you can watch my other video. Uh, and it's quite simple, you just go to Google and type F-Droid, you will be directed to the website, you download and then you install. You need to enable installing from unknown sources. So we go to our F-Droid application. Okay, so we were in, uh, here, we have it here, or you can just type next. You look for it, type here. No, sorry next the name of the application is next on droid this application or this package manager is well known uh, so many youtubers and so many people talk about it you can install it on linux you can have it installed on a linux distribution called next Nix, os by default and that uh, next os uh, Linux distribution, so many people like to use it and it's good. Some people migrate it from Arch Linux to it. Uh, you have also the op possibility to install it on any other Linux distribution as an extra uh, uh, package manager. And then you can install it on Mac OS. It's called Linux on Darwin. Maybe one day we're gonna make the demonstration for or a demonstration on how to do it how to install next package manager on mac os and here i'm going to show you how you can install nix on your android <coughs> so you can see here an overview about it it's going to be very similar to our termix that we, we were using and you need to it's going to be like a CLI uh, application so if you're not familiar with CLI or at least you're not familiar with Termix you can follow along on installing m multiple applications on Termix on, and installing Termix itself never, never worry about it, it's quite simple you'll get along with it if you ever started trying it so here it says no, the stuff, this software is alpha quality so it's still an alpha version it can be a little buggy you may face some problems with it so never mind it's not at least we will have the opportunity to try nix package manager on android nix, pa nix package manager itself is quite good i like it myself <coughs> I, I probably try to install it on some uh, linux distributions that aren't nix os itself so you should yourself try it <coughs> so it's installing I'll pause the video and then I come back when I, once it's done so our installation is almost done you can wait some time for it it doesn't require root just like uh, F-Droid and Termix, you don't need to have the root privileges to install them, just keep that in your mind. And let me remind you that this is not an emulator, this is a connection, a VNC connection from my computer to my phone. The VNC server is on my phone, I have a video on that. So now it's installing the Nix package manager, or call it, it's called for Android, Nix Android. Never mind this. And then we have it installed. It's here. So it's similar to Termix. We had this thing on Termix video if you follow it. Did. You can watch it.
I'll pause the video and then I'll come back once it's ready. I guess we need to download this thing over here. Told about it at the beginning of uh, the installation of Nix on Droid. So that's why it didn't succeed. I didn't succeed with the first launch. So should download. And then I'll pause the video and then I'll come back to you. Alright guys, uh, it sounds like this one is gonna take some time. I tried many times and it keeps uh, facing problems and errors so I guess we're gonna finish this video right here I showed you how you can install uh, Nix on Droid and then I will tell you once this happens and this is like done correctly I will tell you what next to do and we can try to install some packages use, using the Nix package manager on Android uh, thank you for watching and uh, See you in another video.